Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the WordPress. Today we are going to learn connect multiple databases in WordPress. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So this is the database details that is already exist. And we are going to do with another connection with secondary database. So let's copy this and go to our WordPress. So I think hope so there would be a WordPress project. Let me open. So it would be in HTML, right? So let me go to the browser, localhost slash WordPress new. WordPress. There is an issue with the database any other WP is there so let's make me WP an admin so this is there okay so let me go to this one and go to our WP config where it is. Let me open with this. Okay, so let's paste this code over this. So let's add your secondary details of the database. So the DB name, let's go to the PHP my admin and let's put any of the DB localhost slash PHP adminer. So let's make the root. Okay, let's take an example of test DB. Okay, so this is the user table or any other table we can my DB one. Invoice system. Okay, let's take an invoice system database. So database is invoice system, username, the same one that we are using over here. Or and uh, let's make the another one. That is a password, the same one. Okay, so host would be the local host. Okay, let's paste this. Done. This is first step. WP config. Next step, connection. Create a connection function to connect to the scanner database. So we have to do that in the functions.php. Let's create two functions. Okay, so here we go with the WP content. Let me check the theme, which is the theme for the appearance themes. And it's 2024. Teams 2024 where it is. Let's open it and have we have functions.php. Let's open it and let's add this. So this to the this is important. So first of all, we have to go with this one. Let me show you. Okay. So first second get secondary database connection. So if it is secondary DB is there, then we are going to do with the secondary DB username, password. So here we are doing the connection. Okay, and uh, here we are initializing with the secondary DB. Okay, they have your capabilities, right? It has the capabilities, then we are matching this one. And how to fetch the data? So, this is a querying part. So, here we are doing the get secondary connection. First, we do the connection. Then, if something error will go, if there is no error, is WP error secondary DB. If it is not, then we are going to querying the result of your table name. So, make sure you have to add the table name anything i think we will fetch the records i think users we have get it so users we will take the data from the users two users is there so let me just go with the users okay and then results okay and then if something error message is there then we will return the get error messages okay that's okay next one let's show the data into some of the pages so let's create a file over there i think form template.php is already there 
okay so there is already a form so we will use this uh, template to show the results okay so let's go with this one get a data so i required only the php not the form so let me remove this all get underscore footer okay or make me like this one okay let's paste this fine so we here we are querying the data as row column name so column name would be the first underscore name first underscore name so we are going to echo that one okay let's have a look so let me go to the wordpress go to the pages um custom form secondary db is already set update view the page is there any error let's open the debug debug so here we go with this one true we have to check what exactly it is okay so here we have a fatal error or something wpdp okay so there is a connection issue might be secondary db connections but they are saying that the unco type my sql set car set must be type of my sql i with this wp themes let me just close this secondary my sql i set car set must be a type of my sql i so there is a connection issue might be let's go to the function dot php and which function they are saying 446 446 line number if i just to go with this one then what will happen so there is a issue with only this one so we don't require it just remove it okay now here you can see mayor jenkins dvm and dennis roberts both are there okay if i just uh, debugger i will make it sure debug should be false now here you can see may jenkins because the two records are there may jenkins and dennis roberts and this table is totally a custom table okay and the data is fetched properly right with another one also table you can directly do the global db and fetch the records from there okay so this is how you can connect to the multiple db easily in the wordpress and without any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day